In this video, I will show you how you can automatically add your Jira issues to Google Sheets. So here I am going to integrate Jira software and Google Sheets in such a way that whenever a new issue is created in Jira software, the same issue will be added into your sheet as well. So if you also want to sync the Jira issues with Google Sheets, then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. Now to integrate Jira software and Google Sheets, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software. And since I'm an existing user here, you can notice I'm already logged in into the dashboard. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now, once you will reach to the dashboard, firstly, click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I have provided B. Basically, I have pasted the name as Sync Jira Issues with the Google Sheets. Now I will click on Create, and then you will notice two boxes in front of me. Okay, so these are actually Trigger and Action. Okay, so here the Trigger means when this happens, and Action means do this. So whenever this happens, then automatically do this. Try to understand with an example also. Let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application, then automatically send an email to your customers via Gmail application. Okay, so this is how you. Need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here according to our use case whenever any new issue is created into the jira software application then automatically sync those jira issues in google sheets application okay so that is why i have selected both the applications in this trigger and the action window let me also correct this spelling all right so i have selected both now the idea here is i am going to connect both the applications one by one with the public connect okay so firstly i will select the trigger even that is configure webhooks as soon as i will select this you will notice a webhook url okay and with the help of this url only i am going to build a connection in this jira application and a public connect application okay and the instruction for the same are already given here you will have to follow these instructions one by one carefully okay so let me first copy this url going back to my jira software here you will have to select this jira software only and in this i have created two projects okay so let me show you these two projects one is demo service project and another one is this okay so i am going to work on this specific project okay so i have selected the project now i will click on the setting section clicking on the system section and in the left hand sidebar you will find an option of the webhooks okay and here exactly we are going to create a new webhook okay so this is the button click on on that button and firstly provide a random name okay so connection in jira and google sheets okay i'm providing this particular name asking for the status well of course it is going to be enabled only and here exactly i am going to paste the same webhook url which we have received via public connect asking for the description well it is optional so it is completely up to you whether you would like to provide the same or not asking for the issue related events so, so from this place you can select that on the happening of which particular event this automation should trigger or the data should be sent to public connect okay so let's say i want that whenever the issues are created into the jira software my automation should trigger and if you also want to specify that those issues should be fetched up only from a specific project only in that case you can specify a jql query here okay how you can do that when you will come back to public connect dashboard you will notice the instruction okay so here i am going to copy the same syntax to the exact syntax and then i am going to paste the same here all right i have pasted the same and in place of this motor head i am going to specify my project name and here i will specify my issue type okay so let me show you let me open this jira once again in different tab okay and uh, in one tab it is already open basically this webhook section is already open okay and now i am going to first show you two projects okay so basically i am going to create i am going to work further in this project only so i am going to copy the name of this project only that is demo service project okay so i have copied the name coming back here and let me first replace this name with my actual uh, project name okay so i have provided the same and make sure that you also add two inverted commas all right so i have provided the same and in the issue type also you will have 
टू स्पेसिफाई योर इश्यू टाइप ओनली ओके सो लेट से आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ न्यू इश्यू एंड इट इज गोइंग टू आस्क यू दैट वॉट इज दिस इश्यू टाइप ओके सो लेट से आई एम गोइंग टू फर्दर एड ऑल द न्यू सर्विस रिक्वेस्ट ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द सेम दैट इज सर्विस रिक्वेस्ट ओके एस एंड आर इज कैपिटल हे और मेक श्योर ओके सो लेट मी मैंशन द सेम दैट इज सर्विस रिक्वेस्ट एंड अगेन दिस थिंग विल ऑल्सो कम इन द इन्वर्टेड कॉमा हेयर यू कैन नोटिस करेंटली इट इज शोइंग द एरर नाउ एज सुन एज आई विल एड दिस इन्वर्टेड कॉमा इट इज सेंग दैट इट इज करेक्टेड आई हैव ऑल्सो सिलेक्टेड द इवेंट टाइप नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डायरेक्टली क्लिक ऑन दिस क्रिएट बटन एंड दिस इज हाउ द कनेक्शन जीरा एंड गूगल शीट हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्लोज दिस पर्टिकुलर विंडो वेन आई विल कम बैक टू पब्लिक कनेक्ट यू विल नोटिस दैट इट इज एक्चुअली वेटिंग फॉर द वेब बुक रिस्पॉन्स ओके सो बेसिकली इट इज आस्किंग टू लॉग इन टू द एप्लीकेशन वे यू हैव एडेड द वेब बुक यू आर अलाइन टू अ टेस्ट सबमिशन और रिकॉर्ड सो दैट द डेटा कैन बी रिकॉर्डेड हेयर इन द वेब बुक रिस्पॉन्स ओके सो बेसिकली इट इज आस्किंग टू डू अ टेस्ट सबमिशन और रिकॉर्ड एंड हेयर द टेस्ट सबमिशन मीन्स क्रिएशन ऑफ अ न्यू इश्यू इन टू द जीरा सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सो दैट इज वाई आई एम गोइंग टू डू द सेम आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ न्यू इश्यू एंड एज सुन एज आई विल डू दैट यू विल नोटिस दैट दिस पैब्लिक कनेक्ट डैशबोर्ड विल इंस्टेंटली कैप्चर दोज डेटा ओके बिकॉज दिस ट्रिगर विल इंस्टेंटली कैप्चर न्यू इनकमिंग डेटा एंड द वर्क फ्लो एक्जीक्यूशन विल स्टार्ट इन रियल टाइम ओके सो लेट मी शो यू दिस मैजिक इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई हैव सेलेक्टेड द प्रोजेक्ट नेम आई हैव सेलेक्टेड द इश्यू टाइप लेट मी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड द सब्जेक्ट लाइन न्यू फीचर रिक्वेस्ट बाय द कस्टमर ओके and here in the body i will describe about this new feature rec request okay so hello the user or i can write the customer the customer wants to track the history of their workflows kindly try to implement this feature in pavli connect okay so i have provided everything and here you can notice that it is still waiting for the webhook response clicking on this create button and as soon as the issue is created here i am really expecting the same data to be arrived and here you can notice that the response is already received let me show you the details one by one here you can notice that we have the webhook event as issue created let me show you other details also we have the time zone as asia kolkata okay let me show you other details that is here we have the date and time of the issue creation here we have the summary of the issue and where are other details all right this issue is actually in progress waiting for the support this was auto generated by jira service okay and where is the description all right here you can notice the project name and lastly we have the description as well okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in jira and pabli connect is working absolutely fine and now onwards any team member will create any issue here those issue details will be captured via pabli connect first okay and now finally i am going to send this issue detail into the google sheets okay so the application is already selected now i am going to select the action event as add a new row okay because firstly i am going to add a new row and in that new row the data will be added and simply click on connect and just like we have connected jira and pabli connect now we will be connecting google sheets and pabli connect for that you will have to provide the access of your google sheets account i have provided this connection multiple times so i will go with the existing connection only okay clicking on save and this is how google sheets account will be connected with the pabli connect and here you can notice it is connected and since we are connected you will notice that whatever the spreadsheets i have created inside my google sheets account have started visible here okay so i will go with this all jira issues this specific spreadsheet okay this is the spreadsheet i have selected and in the sheet one i have a single sheet only okay that has got selected automatically now as soon as i will select the spreadsheet here you will notice that 
all the columns which I have created into my spreadsheet, these columns will be visible as the field. Here you can notice the project name, the issue type, the subject description, date and time of issue creation and created by. Here you can notice these are the same columns. Okay. Now I just need to provide the data in these fields and click on this button and this is how the data will be updated here. Okay. Now from where I am going to provide this data, remember we have captured this data data into our previous step that is this jira step okay and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here when i will click on this field you will find the same data the above data here in the drop down let me search for the name of the project which is demo service project asking for the issue type well i remember it was something like the service request okay let me search for the same all right i have mapped this also now you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i am mapping here from this drop down these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay and what is the subject i actually forgot let us check what was the subject all right so the subject was with new feature request by the customer let me search for the same that is new feature request by the customer okay as i was telling you that whatever the details i am going to map here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in next time or you can say in real time okay so i think i have provided all the important data last is the created by okay it was created by which person okay let us search for the same and i have mapped this name also okay now as soon as i will click on this button you will notice that the for response will be received into the google sheets here you can notice this positive response is received going back to my spreadsheet and here you can notice all the issue details have been updated into the spreadsheet okay let me first correct the formatting all right so this is the uh, project name this is the issue type the subject the description date and time of issue creation and and created by okay so this is how now onwards every time someone will create a new issue into this jira project management software those issues will be added automatically will be synced automatically into your spreadsheets as well for that you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the backend. You do not have to do anything manually. And just in case, if you want to split this date, basically this particular date and time is into a different format that is into this T and Z format. Okay. So let's say you want to change this date format into the simpler one. You can also do that. But again, it is up to you whether you want to do that or not. Let me show you how you can do that. Just in case, if you are interested in doing that. you will have to simply search for the date and time format of each year and select the action events as format date with the time zone and after connecting it simply provide that date okay let me search for that date and this is the date and simply provide the from and the to format okay so it has already selected the from format and from here exactly we can specify that in which particular format we would like to fetch the date okay from time zone will be the same to time zone how about i write it as asia kolkata only okay remember this was asia kolkata only all right so i have selected the same and as soon as i will click on the save and send test request button you will notice that you will receive the same date and same time well this is not the same time okay i'll have to change this africa from asia to kolkata basically into asia kolkata okay let me do the same and now i'll click on the save and send test request button once again and here you can notice now we have the correct date and timing which you can successfully and easily map into this date field okay now again it is completely up to you if you want to do that you can add this step otherwise you can delete this step okay just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my automation link of my workflow into the description box okay you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com 
my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video